everywhere are shouting it, they're wearing it, they're hashtagging it. There's even a mural promoting the motivating mantra. Whose house? Coog's house is probably the most uttered phrase in Houston right about now. And that, of course, is because the University of Houston, my alma mater, is going to the Final Four. That's right, the chant Whose house? Coog's house is a cougar tradition, but have you ever wondered where it came from? The university says it was a cheerleader who came up with it back in the 80s. Reporter Bill Barajas has that story today as we continue to cover the excitement leading up to the big U of H Baylor game. Bill, you were the obvious choice for this assignment, also a U of H alum. That's right, I do love my Cougs, and I've been re reciting that chant for many, many years now. My entire family has. We've all gone to the University of Houston, and for those who aren't familiar with the chant, it's supposed to energize a crowd at whatever University of Houston sporting event you may be at. The man behind it spoke to us. He's modest, but proud about how far it's come. It's become part of Cougar folklore, an age-old question, with only one right answer. Who's house? The Who's House, Cougs House chant was first started in the 80s and is now used at every Cougar sporting event. Who's house? Who's house? Who's house? According to U of H, it was started by this man. Who's house? Who's house? Paul Pettit, a Cougalum and former cheerleader who first started the chant at football games. It really dated back to uh, when I was in college. Um, really exciting. One year, uh, it was 1988. That team was, was a great team. I think it ended up ranked uh, 18th in the nation that year. And it all, it all started around that time. And one of the big reasons was we'd go into someone else's house and we'd win. And we'd have lots of fans there supporting us. So it was, uh, it was a good chant to use. The question and answer unites the crowd, which Pettit says brings him great pride. I'm just happy that it's carried through and people are really excited about that chant. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really good for the university and the fan base and our team because our team can hear it. The energy from the crowd is something Pettit hopes will help the Cougs this Saturday as they continue their magical run in the Final Four. And while he yeah, won't be in uniform my, my this time, uh, he'll be there to root on the Cougs come Saturday. You'll be hearing it this weekend because I'll be definitely in a stand saying it for sure. And guys, I mentioned his old cheerleading uniform. You saw it there in the story. Get this, 30 plus years later, it still fits him pretty amazing. Also pretty amazing is the fact that he will board a flight Saturday and he will be in Indy for that matchup against uh, Baylor. To that I say, whose house? Coog's house. There you go. There yeah. you go. Oh my gosh, that is so <laughs> cool. It's always so great to go back to the the origin and see where this stuff comes from. And you see the, the cheerleading uniforms yeah. for back then to see how far we've gone. Keith, like, Keith, yeah, Keith, yes, sir. Keith, Keith. It was perfect on Dominique's side. I need it again for me. Let's try it again one more time. I didn't hear the enthusiasm. Come on, bring it. All right, come ready, on, Keith. Yep. I'm ready. Whose house? Whose house? house. <laughs> Does that matter? Perfect. <laughs> okay. That was a lot better. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at my man right I'm, there in, I'm the, in gonna, the uniform. I'm going to tell you something. Everything great came from the 80s. You had him, you had yes. five slam a jamma, yes. and you had big hair. You had those uniforms? <laughs> yes, yeah. So I, I know he's going to the game on, on Saturday. Yeah, is he, is, 